a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. RuPaul's Drag Race RuPaul's Drag Race is an American reality competition television series produced by World of Wonder for Logo TV and, beginning with the ninth season, VH1. The show documents RuPaul in the search for, America's next drag superstar. RuPaul plays the role of host, mentor, and head judge. For this series, as contestants are given different challenges each week, RuPaul's Drag Race employs a panel of judges, including RuPaul, Michelle Visage, Ross Matthews, Carson Kresley, and a host of other guest judges, who critique contestants' progress throughout the competition. The title of the show is a play on drag queen and drag racing, and the title sequence and song, Drag Race, both have a drag racing theme. RuPaul's Drag Race has spanned 10 seasons and inspired the spin-off shows RuPaul's Drag U and RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars. The show has become the highest-rated television program on Logo TV, and airs internationally, including in Australia, Canada, UK, the Netherlands, and Israel. The show earned RuPaul a 2016 Emmy for Outstanding Host for a Reality or Reality Competition Program, and the show itself was awarded as an Outstanding Reality Program at the 21st Glad Media Awards. It has been nominated for four Critics' Choice Television Award including Best Reality Series Competition and Best Reality Show Host for RuPaul, and was nominated for a Creative Arts Emmy Award for Outstanding Makeup for a Multicamera Series or Special. In April 2017, RuPaul's Drag Race was renewed for a tenth season. In January 2018, casting began for Season 11. Format Casting calls are announced online, where prospective contestants submit audition tapes in hopes of being cast. All contestants selected must be 21 years of age or older at the time of taping. Applications of any sexual orientation or gender identity are accepted, although most contestants to date have been gay men. Transgender women are eligible to compete, and have become more common as seasons have progressed. Sonic, a season 2 contestant became the first openly transgender contestant. She came out as transgender during the season 2 reunion special. Monica Beverly Hills, from season 5, became the first transgender woman to reveal her status during the competition. Other transgender contestants have begun transitioning after their elimination. Carmen Carrera, a season 3 contestant, announced her transition during an episode of ABC's Primetime, What Would You Do? Season 4 contestant Kenya Michaels announced her own transition via Facebook and Twitter. Other transgender contestants include Stacey Lane Matthews, Jiggly Caliente, Gia Gunn, and Peppermint. RuPaul plays dual roles in the show. USA Today's Lifeline explains, RuPaul the drag queen will be the final word in judging and eliminations, while RuPaul the man will offer guidance to contestants for each challenge. RuPaul's Drag Race uses progressive elimination to reduce the number of drag queens in the competition, from the initial field of 14 contestants down to the final three or four, who will compete in the final challenge. In seasons 1, 2, and 3, the contestants were narrowed down to a final two, with a winner being selected the final episode. Each episode follows a format consisting of a mini-challenge, a main challenge, a runway walk, the judging panel, and the elimination of a contestant. There have been some exceptions to episodes, including double elimination episodes, no elimination episodes, disqualifications of a contestant, and the removal of contestant due to an injury. Mini Challenges In the mini challenge, each contestant is asked to perform a different task with varying requirements and time limitations. Certain mini challenges are repeated from season to season. For instance, the first mini-challenge of the first six seasons is a photo shoot with the photographer Mike Ruiz that includes some kind of special twist. Another recurring mini-challenge is dedicated to reading, a drag term for making insulting observations about one's peers for comedic effect. The winner of a mini-challenge is sometimes rewarded with some kind of advantage in the main challenge. Though most episodes have a mini-challenge, select episodes do not and progress straight to the main challenge. Main Challenges The requirements of the main challenge vary across each episode, and can be individual or group challenges, and initially grant immunity to the winner in the next challenge. 
However, as of Season 6, immunity is no longer granted to challenge winners. The winner of the main challenge also receives a special prize for their win. In the past, challenge winners have been rewarded with prizes including custom designer clothing, vacations, cruises, and quality cosmetic items. The final main challenge of every season is whether contestants star in RuPaul's music video, with the exception of season 9. The goal of each main challenge involves a new theme, an outcome. Contestants are often asked to design and construct a custom outfit, sometimes incorporating unconventional materials. Other challenges focus on the contestants' ability to present themselves on camera, perform with music, or perform humorously. Some challenges become a tradition across seasons. Judging Beginning with the seventh season, Michelle Visage Ross Matthews and Carson Cressley are the staple judges alongside RuPaul. Visage joined the show at the start of Season 3, while Matthews and Cressley joined at the start of Season 7, and each joins RuPaul and Visage on alternate episodes. Past fixtures on the panel include Merle Ginsburg, who was regular judge in the first two seasons, and Santino Rice, who held his position from the first season until the conclusion of the sixth. Until season 8, Rice was the only person, apart from RuPaul, to take part in every season of the show, serving as a main judge for seasons 1 through 6, and All Stars 1, and guest judging for season 7. In certain instances, Rice was absent and replacement judging has been provided by makeup artist Billy Brassfield, Mike Ruiz, Jeffrey Moran, or Lucian Payne. However, Due to Brassfield's numerous appearances in seasons 3 and 4, including appearing in the reunited episodes both seasons, Rice and Billy B are considered to have been alternates for the same seat at the judges' table throughout the two seasons. Prior to the grand finale, the three main judges are joined by two celebrity guest judges each week. Guest judges have included Paula Abdul, Pamela Anderson, Eve, Ariana Grande, Neil Patrick Harris, Kathy Griffin, Debbie Harry, Chloe Kardashian, Louisiana Toya Jackson, Adam Lambert, Demi Lovato, Bob Mackie, Rose McGowan, Olivia Newton John, Rebecca Romaine, Gigi Hadid, Sharon Osbourne, Dan Savage, John Waters, Michelle Williams, Candace Kane, Martha Wash, Natalie Cole, Ditta Von Tees, Niecy Nash, Debbie Reynolds, Vanessa Williams, Wilma Valderrama, The Pointer Sisters, Trina, Leah Remini, the B-52s, Kesha and Lady Gaga. The judges each provide their opinion on the contestants' performances in the main challenge, and on the runway before RuPaul announces which queen is the episode's winner and which two had the weakest performances. The day before judging, the contestants are all provided with a song to which they must learn the lyrics. The contestants deemed as being the bottom two must lip-sync for their lives to the song in a final attempt to impress RuPaul. After the lip-sync, RuPaul alone decides who stays and who leaves. RuPaul describes the qualities the contestants must have to be crowned the winner of the show as charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. These are people who have taken adversity and turned it into something that is beautiful and something powerful. The phrase, charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, is used repeatedly on the show, the acronym of which is CUNT. On the first All-Stars season, Synergy was added to provide an explanation behind the contestants being sorted into teams. Untucked The first season of Drag Race was accompanied by a seven-episode web series, titled Under the Hood of RuPaul's Drag Race. Lagoon Line published a webisode of Under the Hood after each episode of Drag Race. In this companion series, RuPaul presents a documentary of contestants' conversation in the green room, replays pertinent moments from Drag Race and airs deleted footage. Starting with the second season of Drag Race in 2010, Logo reformatted Under the Hood, increased its production budget, moved it from the web to television, and retitled it to RuPaul's Drag Race, Untucked. Logo broadcast an episode of Untucked after each episode of Drag Race. Untucked replaces the basic green room of Under the Hood with two decorated rooms that were until season 6 sponsored by Absolute Vodka and Interior Illusions Incorporated, the Interior Illusions Lounge and the Gold Bar. Form Decor sponsored the lounge for season 6. These two backstage areas allow for separated group conversation. 
At the start of the seventh season of The Drag Race, Untucked reverted to a web series, as part of the World of Wonder YouTube page. Instead of two decorated rooms, Untucked was moved back to the one room. An empty backstage space that connects to the main stage and workroom, with couches for contestants to chat on. The newly renovated version also follows contestants following their elimination from the show, documenting them packing their belongings, and leaving the set. The web series format continued for the 8th and 9th season. For the show's 10th season, it was announced that Untucked would return to television. Season 1, 2009 the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race, later referred as The Lost Season, premiered in the United States on February 2, 2009. On Logo, nine contestants were selected to compete in the running of Becoming, America's Next Drag Superstar. The winner of the first season won a lifetime supply of MAC Cosmetics, was featured in an LA Works campaign, joined the Logo Drag Race tour, and won a cash prize of $20,000. One of the nine contestants to compete on RuPaul's Drag Race was determined by an audience vote via the show's official website. The results were announced in early September 2008. The contestant to win this honor was Nina Flowers from Bayamón, Puerto Rico. The theme song playing during the runway every episode was Cover Girl from RuPaul's album Champion. The winner of the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race was Bibi Zahara Bennett, with Nina Flowers winning Miss Congeniality. In late 2013, Logo re-aired the first season, which was titled RuPaul's Drag Race, The Lost Season Revealed, and featured commentary from RuPaul. Season 2, 2010 For Season 2, the number of contestants was increased from 9 to 12, and the prizes were slightly modified. A lifetime supply of NYX Cosmetics and be the face of NYXCosmetics.com. An exclusive one-year public relations contract with LGBT firm Project Publicity, be featured in LAI Works campaign, join the Logo Drag Race tour, and a cash prize of $25,000. A new tradition of writing a farewell message in lipstick on the workstation mirror was started by the first eliminated queen of the season, Shangela Lackey for Wadley. The theme song playing during the runway and the end credits every episode is Jealous of My Boogie, from RuPaul's album Champion. Each week's episode is followed by a behind-the-scenes show, RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked. The winner of the second season of RuPaul's Drag Race was Tyra Sanchez, with Pandora Box winning Miss Congeniality. On December 6, 2011, Amazon.com released the season on DVD via their Create Space program. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?